Wise well, got bets here today with some uh, DFS picks from DraftKings main slate, seven games on the slate. Today's date is 7-8-2021. Uh, let's get right into it and look at the pitcher position. At pitcher, we're going with a value choice here. We're going with Tariq Scooball for uh, Detroit. His projection on the day is 14.2 fantasy points. He's getting about 4.9 innings pitched per game. In his last three games, he's pitched five, seven, and five. Uh, and you know, it's the games he pitched five, he got 10, 12 fantasy points. And the game he pitched seven innings, he got 28 fantasy points. He has 100 strikeouts on the season. Um, going against Minnesota, he's 7,200 on the night. Uh, Minnesota has batted 154 against him, six for. 39. Uh, so that's a pretty good sample size. Kind of see where we stand. Uh, his last five games against uh, Minnesota are 0, 14, 21, 12, and 20. I hope he can get us 20 points tonight on his $7,200 salary. I think he'd be good for tournaments. We try to stop, try to stack some batters and get the best possible pitcher available. So uh, Tariq is someone I want to try to get into my lineups tonight at the pitcher position. Let's look at the catcher position. At catcher, we have Jan Gomez for Washington. Uh, his projection on the night is 8.1. He's batting 268 on the year. He's getting about 3.5 at bats per game. His last three games, fantasy point wise, is 4, 17, 12. His salary is 2,400. He's batting three for six against this pitcher, uh, three singles and uh, six at bats uh, against uh, San Diego in his last five, 12, 3, 4, 17, 12 for 2,400. I like his output, which I think will be around between 12 and 15 tonight, uh, based on what I see. I like his uh, projections for tonight, and I like Mr. Gomez uh, in my lineups tonight. So Mr. Gomez is someone I want to get into my lineups tonight at the center, at the catcher position. Let's look at the first base position. We're looking at Ryan Mountcastle. For Baltimore, his projection on the night is 8.1 fantasy points. He's got 14 homers on the season. He's batting 257. He's getting around 3.7 at-bats per game. Uh, his last five, three games fantasy point-wise is 4, 7, and 5. He's batting 3 for 4 against this pitcher with two of his three hits being home runs against this pitcher. So definitely he makes contract. I like his salary. Uh, Mr. Marcassi can probably be considered as a possible lock in my eyes tonight. Um so, and his last uh, five against Toronto is 12, 2, 16, 7, and 5. I like him in the position that he's in. And Mr. Moncastle is someone I definitely want to try to get into my lineups tonight. Let's look at the uh, second base position. At second base, we're looking at Will Castro for Detroit. His projection on the night is 7.8 fantasy points. He has six homers on the season. He's batting 218. He's getting around 3.4 at bats per game. His last three games fantasy point wise is 5, 5, and 0. As you know, I like players coming off of zero. I like his salary at 2,400. Uh, he's one for three against the pitcher he's facing tonight. Not a big sample size, but his one hit against this pitcher was an extra base hit. His last five against. Uh, Minnesota is 0, 3, 9, 18, and 4. I like him tonight, um, especially coming off that 0. A little success against the pitcher he's facing. Um, I like him in this position. So Mr. Castro is someone I definitely want to try to get in my lineup tonight at second base. Let's look at the third base position. Third base we're looking at. Eugenio Sarez for Cincinnati. His projection on the night is 8.5 fantasy points, uh, 17 home runs. He's only batting one, uh, 180 on the season. Uh, he's getting about 3.7 at bats per game. His last three games, 18, 5, and 7. Salary is 4,200. Moderate success against his pitcher. He's batting uh, 333, 5 for 15. Three singles, two home runs. I like the home runs. It means he's making decent contact against this pitcher. So hopefully, hopefully he catches them in the right game scenario where he's, uh, you know, looking for extra base hits. Uh, he's had success uh, against uh, Milwaukee. 
in his last five, two, five, two, nine, and four. Not good. But I'm basically betting on his success against this pitcher. Uh, like I say, two home runs out of five hits. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, he's not playing terribly bad. Like I say, he's coming off a 18, five, and seven. Salary 4,200. We want to at least get the projection. I think he could go a uh, yard today and maybe get uh, 14 points or more out of Mr. Sarez. So Mr. Sarez is someone I definitely want to get into my lineups tonight at the third base position. Let's look at the shortstop position. At shortstop, we're looking at Nico Goodrum for Detroit. Another player from this Detroit game. I do like the uh, – Run over an under projection of nine and a half. His projection on the night is 7.3. He's batting 215 on the season. He's getting about 3.3 at bats per game. His last three games, 15, 0, 0. Coming off two, 0. Coming off two bad games. He's 2,900. And the the key stat I like here, he's 7 for 10 against this pitcher. Five singles, two doubles. He's batting 700. Uh, small sample size, but you know, ten at bats against a pitcher. He's getting, he's had seven hits. That's pretty damn good, and I'm, I'm going to bet on that tonight. His last five against uh, Minnesota are zero seven, thirteen, three, twenty. So you know, he's played decent against uh, Minnesota with the consecutive zeros. Trying to get back on track against a pitcher he's had success with, Mr. Nico Goodrum is maybe a lock in my lineups tonight. I'm, I go with the numbers in baseball. You have to go with the numbers, and that is what I do. So, Nico, good room for Detroit. is someone I want to get into my lineups tonight at the shortstop position. Let's look at the outfield. In the outfield, we're looking at Tiascar Hernandez for Toronto. His projection on the night is 10.3 fantasy points. He's batting 297 on the season. He's getting four at-bats per game. His last three games is uh, fantasy point wise is zero, two, and seventeen. His salary for the night is forty eight hundred. He's batting five hundred against this pitcher, two for four, one double, one home run. Um, his last five games against uh, Baltimore is zero, twenty three, twelve, two, and seventeen. Uh, Mister Hernandez is a possible core play for me tonight, uh, based on what I see, and I like the position he's in. So those are my DFS picks for tonight. Hey, if you like my picks, go ahead and hit that like button. If you don't like it, hit that like button also. I need more eyes on these videos. These videos are pretty good, I think, uh, and I provide great value. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you know when new videos are posted. Until the next video, peace.